Yeah, uh, you all right there, boy? Yeah, that's better, boy. Okay, fella. Many federals coming through. Might have got some horse sense. We go to stop right where you are. Out of the damn way. Look out. No <laughs> to you. Hey, mister. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so don't come asking for a refund. Uh, you should know the artworks are not endorsed by gallery staff. <laughs> sooner you go in there, sooner you... What's this show, then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. The exhibition is through there, if you can call it that. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. We'll miss the party. Hurry up, will you? so flustered.
Morning. I think that it's Greek. May I say you're looking lovely today? Or could be Roman. Be well now. No, it's Italian, most likely. That's far too modern for my tastes. Mr. Chardonnay, he's just a terror. It's making me blush. I find the brushwork baffling. What's he... Trying to represent, aside from a filthy mess. It's a... you know. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. I'm a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, horse. We are leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring. Huh? That it was not. A 
are to test people. Push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases will have punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. It's unlucky to cheers on an empty glass. Okay. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. 
And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if he was even coming back. The whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. She a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh. It's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <sighs> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. Decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Maybe ease off the throttle there, sir. You shouldn't be doing this. No, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Off the 
and Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. Ascend. The wind isn't strong enough at this altitude. And looks like we're moving again. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. But I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. This was not the tour I had in mind. Nope, not there. Alright, let's try one of the other fields. Look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? That's not him. Okay, he ain't by the barn. Should we, uh, think about heading back? We're doing this. But try on the right, a little lower. What's that down to your right? I is that someone down to your right?
I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! This is absolutely insane. <sighs> Got a hit. Lost it. Oh, the wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take ah! us back to land. Yeah. God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? We're... Being chased! Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Starting to rather enjoy this.
it. Look, there's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! You can't leave us for one day! Just kill these sons of bitches! can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Combe O'Driscoll. They're going to hang him in San Denis. Hang him? OK. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one. 
and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that.
Time to go, boy. That's my boy. Never mind then, I'm sure I'll fall off eventually. Could you put me down now? Oh, so rough. You all right? Those fellas, <sighs> nasty bunch. I'm... Oh, I'm fine. I think they was saving me for... Could you free me, please? <clears throat> Thanks for helping. When you did, I'll make do from here.
Settle down, boy. Oh, now. Hey, hey, hey. Good boy. Shh. Get off of me! Thank you. 